Hey guys, welcome to the Droid Guy channel. How to fix can't install printer in Windows 10. Installing a printer is crucial for seamless printing functionality and encountering errors or obstacles can be frustrating. Fortunately, we have solutions that you can do to resolve printer installation issues on your Windows, PC, and it will be discussed in this video. Get ready to resolve your printer installation issues and start printing hassle-free in no time. But before we begin, we would appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button for more troubleshooting videos. The first solution is to run Printer Troubleshooter. The first thing you can do to resolve this problem is to utilize Windows built-in Troubleshooter. By running the Printer Troubleshooter, you can quickly identify and resolve common printer installation issues in Windows 10. An effective solution that helps overcome challenges will ensure a successful setup of your printer. To do this, press Windows or the Start button at the lower left. Then click Settings, an icon that looks like a gear. At Settings Windows, click Update and Security, click Troubleshoot at the left pane, click Additional Troubleshooters, scroll down and click Printer. Click Run the Troubleshooter tab. Select your printer from the list of options you want to troubleshoot. The Printer Troubleshooter will now search for problems. If problems are detected, it will show potential fixes. If there are no problems detected, close the Troubleshooter window. Now check if the printer can now be installed on your computer. If not, proceed to the next solution. The next solution is to add again printer. By adding the printer again, you give Windows 10 an opportunity to establish a fresh connection and ensure the correct installation of drivers and printer settings to help resolve various installation problems. To do this, press Windows or the Start button at the lower left, then click Settings, an icon that looks like a gear. Then click Devices. At the left pane, click Printers, and scanners. Now, locate the printer and then select Remove Device. Once the printer has been removed, click the Add a Printer or Scanner tab and then follow the on-screen instructions. Check if the printer can now be installed on your computer. If not, proceed to the next solution. Next is to update Windows. An outdated Windows operating system can cause installation issues, thereby ensuring Windows is up to date to ensure that your operating system has the latest updates, including compatibility fixes, driver updates, and bug fixes. First, press the Windows key or Start button, then click Settings, an icon that looks like a gear. Now, select Update and Security, then click the Check for Updates tab. Windows will now search for updates. If there is an available update, click Download and Install, and then wait for the update process to finish. Once finished, you can now restart your computer. Now check if printer can now be installed on your computer. If not, proceed to the next solution. The next solution is to restart the print spooler service. Restarting the print spooler service refreshes the printing system on your computer, thereby resolving any potential issues relating to the spooler service. Restarting the print spooler service allows Windows 10 to clear any print queue issues, refresh the service, and establish a stable connection with the printer. To do this, press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type services.msc at the Run dialog box and press Enter. Scroll down and locate Print Spooler Service. Right-click on the service and then select Restart. Then right-click on the service and select Properties. At the Properties window, make sure the startup type is set to Automatic. Click Apply to apply changes made and then click OK to confirm and exit. Now check if the printer can now be installed on your computer. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.